What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in my life, there are three things that I hold close to my heart. The first will be, of course, basketball. The second one being music. And the third one being sneakers. There's a reason why this stuff is in the background of every one of my videos. This is who I am as a person. It lets you know right here. Well, in today's video, we're going to be combining two of my three top things in the world, and that's basketball and sneakers. We're going to see if we can guess the NBA players strictly based on their shoe game. Let's get into it. And oh yeah, I can't forget my shout out to the day. So boom. JDR3, you're the man for creating this and sending it my way. Okay, so there's 35. No peeking, of course. Uh, 35 questions, 10 minutes. That should be more than enough time. As you can see at the bottom, we have not taken this just yet. Let's get into it. Oh, um, if this is an indication of the way we going in this video, I am going to struggle. I don't know a single NBA player that signed on to N1. Now, this got to be like early 2000s, late 90s, but we're going to skip it because I don't know this first one. Number two, that's Shaquille O'Neal. Shout out to my boy, Mike. Mike has been looking, looking for those shoes, not that colorway, but those shoes for a long, long time. He has yet to find them. And to be honest with y'all, even if you do find them, I don't think he's going to like them in person. He just like them in 2K. Next, we got the James Hardens. Um, I actually have a pair of these. I hooped in them for a little bit, but I switched it up to the Crazy Elite Explosive or Crazy Explosive, whatever they're called. And then the Damian Lillards that just dropped. I'm, I'm going to cop me a pair of those very, very soon. These are the Curries. Now, this version of the Curry is actually really, really ugly. But the Curry 4, once that drops in the men's adult size, I will be copping a pair. I just want to see how they feel like when you hoop it. So, I get a pair. But these, the Curry 1 through 3s, L. New version, I can get behind those. Uh, this is Kyrie Irving, of course. I've never hooped in a pair of Kyrie's, but I like the way they look. I, I like the 2 more than the 3. Allen Iverson, now I have had a pair of these in my life. This is actually my first basketball shoe ever. Not this colorway. I had like the original colorway that was like the Philadelphia 76ers look, colors. But dope, but super, super heavy. Along with these, these are all these are Kobe's. I I never hooped in these, but I tried on a pair of those. These are the Damian Lillards. Like he just dropped a new one, and I was in the store trying to compare. Like, do I want these new Damian Lillards? The new ones are a lot lighter, but the traction on the bottom of the shoe kind of sucks at least it feels like it sucks but this is definitely damian lillard's shoe i'm gonna give it a try i like damian lillard so i'll support him and wow 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 so i got these shoes right here people call these like spaceship gravy boats whatever but look at the kobe's on screen the kobe twos versus these which ones are better both of them are actually, okay both of them are pretty bad but these Kobe 2s, I've never, ever seen in person. I bet I can find them online, though, if I really wanted to. I wonder how heavy they are. But Kobe, you're ridiculous, man. You're ridiculous for hooping the nose. These are Clay Thompson's. There's a video of Clay Thompson in an ad for Anta where he's, like, bathing in a bunch of those. It's a, it's a pretty dope ad. Phone pauses. When you think of phone pauses, only one person should come to mind, and that is Penny Hardaway. He made them popular. Even to this day, they're some of the most popular shoes out there. Um, these are actually Jordans. You know, we got all the retro Jordans. These are Jordan 2009s. That's just the name of it. So these are Jordans, yeah. Um, Stephon Marbury, the most affordable hoop and shoe in the history of hoop and shoes. And it's not like Air ones or like those shacks that you would find at Walmart because they were actually pretty good. For $20, you got some nice, some nice shoes, some nice shoes. Um, these are, I think these are Mellows. Not a big fan of Mellows whatsoever. I think they just di di uh, discontinued his personal shoe like this year. And there's probably a reason why. They may not have been selling the greatest because they aren't the greatest looking. Shout out to Latrell Sprewell. Latrell Sprewell said he's bringing these back. If y'all don't know, these are Dada's. They got a spinning, like spinners. Yeah, back in the day, spinners, you put them on cars. They had them on the shoe. Latrell Sprewell revolutionized the basketball shoe. And he also choked up his coach. But let's not talk about that. These are LeBron's. Definitely Le Oh, well, I guess I got to put his last name. LeBron's. Um, next, we got PG-13s. I also have a pair of these there. Some of the most affordable, comfortable, and best basketball shoe out there. If you're looking for a nice, cheap shoe to hoop in, the PG-1s are definitely that. 
I don't know what this is. We're going to skip that one. These are CP3s along with the Carmelo Anthony's. I don't really rock with the Jordan custom shoes. If they aren't like retro Jordans, don't really rock with them. Oh, I don't know. This is Matthew Della Vadova. And it says it's on the shoe. It says De Delhi Matthew Della Vadova. Why does he have his own personal shoe? Because he played okay in that finals with LeBron when Kyrie was injured? I don't know. These are LeBron ones or they're like the Nike generation one, whatever they're called. They just retro these, and I'll be honest with y'all, I kind of dig them. I kind of dig them. I don't know if I'd ever buy a pair myself, but I'm, I'm a fan of them. These are McGrady's. Shout out to T-Mac. Another shoe that was like early 2000s that were kind of trash, but uh, and like super bulky, but that was a style back then. Next, this is the Jordan 12, of course. We already know that. Um, See, if they sign to some of these weird companies like Li Ning, Anta, what is some other shoes? This is the weird companies from overseas. I probably don't know what they are. So this is another case. Where I have no idea. Number 34. Who's number 34? I don't know. These are Shaq's. The Shaq, what is they call? Hypnosis, something like that. Kobe's. This is around the time where Kobe's shoes start. Well, they were. They have been good a couple times before this, but I like these Kobe's. Cal Lari with Adidas. Even if you didn't know that, you can see on the tongue, it's got the K and the L. Pretty clean logo, if you ask me. But those are Calaris. I found this out in the video previously. I still don't know what the 361 degrees means with Kevin Love. But these are Kevin Love shoes. I don't even know who he's with, who he signed with. But I do know these. These are Dwayne Wade's. Dwayne Wade went over to sign the lead name. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's, it has a signature on the shoe. The 80s were wild, dog. The 80s and 90s were wild. He was hooping in these? He was hooping in these right here. Patrick Ewing. Imagine if he hooped in some, like, today's shoes that are super light. He would have, like, three more inches to his vertical. Uh, of course, these are Russell Westbrooks. These are Russell Westbrooks. The 30... I don't know the number. Jordan 30-something. Why not a ver version? John Wall. Took me a second, but I see the logos. JW. And these are Jeremy Lin's. Speedy recovery for you, Jeremy Lin. We wishing the best for you. All right, we got four that we did not answer. These M ones in the early 2000s. What does that say? Can you see something on his sock? His sock says something, but it does not tell me enough. So we're going to take that L. I don't know. First of all, he's got a lot of wear on these shoes, which is a good thing. I don't think you should be wearing new shoes every game. That's You're going to hurt your feet that way. And to number all oh, these are D12s. The White Howard he left um he left Adidas and he went to Anta. Or no, that's Peak. That's not Anta, that's Peak. He went to Peak, number 12 on it. Those are the White Howards. These are these aren't Barclays, are they? Barclays, no. Um I'm trying to just think of people in the 90s that had their own shoe with with Nike, but I Pippin? Nope. Alright, we'll take the L on that one too. 34, I don't know. All right, that's all we got. That's all we got. Let's end it. Let's see if we're going to... Let's go back to the first one. Boom. Kevin Garnett was hooping in the and ones. That's fine. You know, we can't really talk bad about it because back in the day, and one was kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. So maybe if somebody was signed to an and one in 2017, that's a different story. You feel me? That's a different story. But okay, Kevin Garnett there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going too fast. Chris Webber, C Web. Okay. Okay, C Web. I should have looked at the color when kind of put it together. But C Web had his own signature shoe back in the day. That's dope. JaVel McGee. He would literally be one of the last people I think about having their own signature shoe. JaVel McGee? They should just have like Shaq and the Fool MVP, like somewhere on this shoe. I'd buy it at that point. Is that the last one? Hey, we got a 32 out of 35, which is a 91%. The average is a 44. So we exceeded expectations. That's what's up. That's all we got for today, boys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I don't really have anything to plug today. I feel like every time I end a video, I plug either my podcast or the homies channel or whatever. I got nothing to plug. But if you did want to check out the podcast, it's down below. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Shout out to the question. Let me know what's your favorite shoe of all time. I've asked this before, and I, I always like to find new shoes that I've never heard of. So let me know in the comment section below your favorite shoe. And, of course, you get a chance to be the winner. Thank y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Pull out your wallet. I get you where you want to be. Uh, it ain't for the low. What is
worthy.